Had you had experiences with the police prior to uh, Ferguson? Yeah, one, I don't know if I've said this publicly just because people don't ask, is that when I was, uh, I used to run an after school center, out of school center in Baltimore for a fifth through eighth graders, which was great. We had them for three, uh, we had three nights a week from three to 8 p.m., which is a very long time to be with fifth graders. And any of you that have fifth graders, you are probably only around your fifth grader at eight o'clock at night. I was around your fifth grader and all of your fifth graders friends, which is very hard. No, if I, when, when my kids were in fifth grade, they're now older. If I had to spend more than half an hour with them, <laughs> I was done. Imagine three to eight, we served them <laughs> dinner. It was like, oh my God, it was a lot. But one night somebody had left like a kid's, um, a, a sensitive document about a kid on the cafeteria table in the school that we operated the center out of and the principal hated me and I remember I woke up in like a cold sweat in the middle of the night and I'm like I have to get to the school as soon as the custodians get there at 6 a.m. so I like just throw on some clothes I'm like I'm not speeding I'm not speeding I feel confident saying I'm not speeding (laughs) I think I was going uh, I think people might mistake me for speeding so I was like I was going down and I saw this honestly it sounds like you were speeding I don't know I think easily mistaken for speeding and I was I was driving through a white neighborhood and I saw this police officer and I was like, let me just pull up. I was so afraid of the um, the principal, like he was really intense. So I was way more afraid of him than anything. So I see this police officer behind me. He doesn't even have his lights on. He's like sort of not far behind me, but I think he, he might mistake me for speeding. So I pull over, I just like pull over. Like if I need to get a ticket today, just give me a ticket. So wait, he doesn't put his lights on and you pull over. Yeah, I just pull over. Cause I'm like, cause I know that if, the principal gets to school before me, I might not have a job. So it's like, if, I, if a ticket is what I get out of this, I'm totally cool. So I pull over and the officer is like super stressed. So he comes up to my window with his gun drawn and he's just like saying a lot. And I am, again, very afraid of the principal. So I put the window down and the So there's officer, a gun to, your, to you like, and you're like, thinking, oh, the principal's gonna be mad. No, really though. And, I, and I'm saying to him, I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, it's okay, calm down. It's okay, it's okay. And it's like, if I, if, again, if the principal, he's gonna like, it's gonna be the end of the world. So he's like super intense and I'm like de-escalating him and like trying to get this out so I can go to, go to school. And in the end, I don't get a ticket. I don't get a warning. He apologizes. He gets back in his car. I'm like trying to get to school, but try not to be mistaken for speeding now that I just had this interaction with the police officer. And the police officer pulls up to me like probably like two minutes later. And I'm like, oh my God, I just survived this guy. Like, why are you still here? And he's like, happy birthday. And he's like, I saw that it's your birthday. I'm like, oh my God, (laughs) leave me alone. The police are crazy. Uh, But I went to school, I got it before the principal got there. And it wasn't until later that I like was telling somebody, I'm like, this really crazy things happen to police and they like flip out and I'm like I probably should but it was I was so afraid of the principal that it like I don't know I I don't know it was but that did happen and it wasn't until again later that I was like wow this is happening all across the country in in my head not the happy birthday part I can guarantee you (laughs) (laughs) but it wasn't until later that I was like that it registered for me that this is I don't know I thought that I that that just happened to me and like, I didn't know where to file a complaint. Like it was, it sort of was this thing that happened that I would just have to suck up because it wasn't, I didn't know how to talk about it or who to talk about it with. And like, he did have his gun drawn. He was super escalated. I got his badge number, but like, I remember talking to somebody who worked in the prosecutor's office and she was just like, you need to be more careful. That was her. It wasn't like, I just didn't know anything else. It, it sounds like you couldn't have been more careful. Yeah, he was really afraid though. And I'm wearing like, a, I went to Bowdoin in Maine. I'm wearing like a Bowdoin hoodie. I'm wearing like hoop shorts and flip flops. It's like, I just, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so, and that principal and I, you know, I don't think he ever really apologized for being a terror, but we were better later. But he was a real terror that day. And, uh, but that was, that happened to me. And it wasn't until the protest that I was like, again, this is happening all across the country in a way that is really wild. Let me just contrast that very quickly, if I can, with an anecdote that happened to me today. I get a call from my wife. She says, this is today. She says, I got busted for speeding. I said, oh no. Uh, she goes, yeah, I was doing... 77, I passed the cop, he pulled me over, and he said, do you know how fast you were going? And she said, I was going 77. Uh, and he goes, yeah. Uh, and you what didn't was the even- speed limit? 55. Okay. She might have been mistaken for speeding. No, just, she was definitely speeding. And, uh, and, and, she, and, he, and he goes, you didn't even slow down when you passed me. And she goes, yeah, because I felt like it would be hypocritical to like slow down. No, she did. Yes, she did. That's what I said. I said, no, you did. <laughs> You're like, what? And, and so he's like, all right, well, just I would be like slow in down. handcuffs right now. That's my point. So 
it's a very different Wait, what experience. did she get? Did she get a she, ticket? No, she's, he said, all right, we'll just slow down and let that her go. That is special. But he did not wish her a happy birthday. It's probably not her birthday. It is not her birthday. It is not her birthday. 